Okay, so the problem is, is this screen shows map. So how do you reset that? You gotta use a flight computer to do your, uh, do your configs. And I highly recommend that before you go through your configs, you go through each of the three panels at least once. So we're cold and dark right now. Uh, let's see, we'll flip these on because we just can, and we're gonna pull out soon. And I don't know if this is the right order or not, but we'll just go ahead. This doesn't help, but uh, panel. Uh, okay, we could start the APU now. We don't need to. This is the main thing. You gotta set these to nav. And they have to be on nav. And then I guess you could set your emergency lights. Go back down this panel, do this panel. Um, lights, de-icers, icers, fuel, we don't need icers, start engines, don't need any of that. Uh, here we have some, let's turn some lights on. Some nav lights, maybe our uh, lower beacons on. Okay, so now that we have these in the nav position, you have to go down to a flight computer and we have to go to our init reference and let's set our route. And we're gonna change our route. We're flying KPDX to KSFO. KPDX. And we're gonna do KSFO, which is San Francisco. SFO. And we'll do this. And we are flight 111. And then we need to do this performance initialization and we'll do cruise altitude. Let's set that to uh, 380. And we skip our cost. Actually, we'll put our cost index in. We'll set it at 50. Ah, uh, you could get that from your, from your company if you needed to. And then uh, we'll skip thrust limiters. We'll skip takeoff and we'll do position in it. And this is like the main thing is that let's initialize our position to KPDX. KPDX. Uh, and then we should get pretty close coordinates. In fact, yeah, they're really, really close. And then we'll set our IRS position here. So you have your GPS position. And if you click it here, it goes down into this position and you set your IRS position right here and immediately, boom, the computer comes on. There's your map. And we'll do our execute and we can skip back to route and we can back out of that. We can do legs and now you've got your computer, the map's gone and your flight plan's there. So you can, now you can run checklists and go in and do your, like if we go back to clearance. Where's my IFR clearance? Route KPO. Oh. KPDX KSFO active. Oh, did I not activate it? Execute. KPDX KSFO route legs departure arrival. Um, departure. I think they'll. I don't know what though. So let me give me figure out why. Why am I not getting? My, oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. That was it. So you just goof with the computer, make sure you activate stuff. There's your IFR. There's your computer. Ten left. Execute. Uh, let's just do the. Let's do. Uh, let's do the Mini Five departure via the Eastern Tran Eastern Transition. Select. There's your computer pops up. You can go dot back your range out a little bit. You can see both your runway and your flight plan to get out of this place. You can see that we're heading south 180 to Eason, and then we'll take off to San Francisco from there.